Whoa. What's up, buddy? Whoa. Whoa. What is happening? Viva la Mexico. Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Man, Viva la Mexico. You look like you walked straight from the 80s into today, and it is looking sharp. Fuck yeah, brother. Just enjoying the sun, having some cocktails. Wasn't going to miss the show to save the world. So, Man. Listen, folks, if you can't see this, we got to have to post a picture of this man because he is sexy AF today. There you He's go. He's got the there reflective go. hey. glasses on, the goatee going, a yeah. shiny purple, like a muscle shiny tee. Purple tank top. Yeah. So man. I'm like, I'm like the envy of everyone here. Let me tell you. How Not busy really, is, but you're in Mexico. Busy as fuck, dude. Busy as fuck. So, so, um, uh, I, I think the spring break crowd kind of left all the college kids. Just okay. want to shout out, we met a group from CU Boulder. Right here. Okay, yes. Just exactly. north of us. So, so I want to send a shout out to Shane because Shane kind of told me what he was going to do when he grows up. And, yeah, he's a smart kid, great personality. So I told him, I sent him a shout out. They were actually at the pool watching some of our shows. And he came and he's like, fuck, is this you? It was, it, 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 it was our tights show when we came out to see you i was like i was like yeah bro i mean the fucking shows are great i'll fucking send a shout out to you and your boys and girls so yeah so he's a junior uh, junior at cu boulder so yeah what's up shane up. yeah way to go shane yeah where's that uh, i mean are the cu boulder people good looking people or no no they were from seattle their whole group goes to cu oh. boulder and they're all from seattle so funny story so funny story he was like yeah me and this guy and this guy in high school literally lived right down the street from each other, but never knew each other until they got to college. In Colorado, not in, Seattle. No, in Seattle. No, no, yeah. So, yeah. so I'm thinking to myself, well, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. we were outside all the fucking time. Me too. If it was 30 below zero, Ma's like, get your ass outside and play. And and we'd go fucking play. Whether we were building snow forts, having snowball fights, drinking beer, smoking pot, we were always outside. So with kids nowadays, I can see that you don't know who your neighbors are because you're inside fucking gaming. That's all you're doing. I think Gretchen wants me to take my shirt off. Oh, she wants you to take your shirt off. I got I was told I was told today by this guy Jason from Omaha that he, he mentioned something about man boobs. I'm like, dude. You got to wear man boobs proud. So I'm not taking my shirt off. No, no. That, no, when I was a kid, it was the same way. And I think kids these days, uh, I'm going to hop on a soapbox with you, uh, hey, are, miss, are hey, missing out. I'll keep my mouth shut during your soapbox. I think kids are missing out these days because my neighborhood was the same way. I mean, it was out the door when the sun went up and we knew it was time to go home when we heard a whistle from my mom. Like yeah. somewhere in the mirror. Yeah. They didn't know where we were at. It was just it was like the dinner bell. You know, you heard the yep. whistle and it was time to go home. And she we were, could have been blocks away. It was just like, all right, time to roll home. And yeah. they, they didn't know what we were up to. We were out joking. We were out but, joking and smoking at four years old. Yeah. No, but, but seriously, I mean. <laughs> Seriously, they didn't worry about it though. We we're out of the house. No, we weren't bothering them. It was great. Right. It's great. Yeah. And so the even if you got <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Here's, ah. here's like Jason. This is say hello to the world. What's Hi, up? Well, actually, actually, what's like up, one person, Jason? Yeah. That's all right. Hola. <laughs> well, uh, where's Jason go- from? He, he's a golf pro from Omaha. Yeah. Hell yes. It's just about time to be cool. golf season right in on, Omaha. Dude. He can't hear he me said though. It's, he said it's. He says it's golf. He says it's golf season all the time. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah. There he yeah, is. Yeah, he says it's golf season yeah. all the time. Yeah, how y'all doing? Doing well, Jason. So I was gonna say the, the flags. The Still flag sticks up. Drunk, yeah, we're gonna yes. drunk. We might put out a fire or two. We don't know. No, don't do that. Don't work on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back and watch it burn. I mean, come there on. You go, there you go. See the beer, <laughs> see the cocktail, right? and watch it burn. Yep. Right. Behave. Jason, uh-huh. looking good, right on, man. man. We got special guests flying in all over the all place right. here. Yeah. And yeah. Neil's frozen. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. And I told Neil, I told Neil, quite frankly, I told Neil to have the ladies lined up. But uh, we'll, well, take, we'll take Jason, the golf pro from Omaha. Like I said, I, I could go down by the pool. You would not hear me. They got that music playing so loud. So, so you'll, you'll just how have, do we solve? Deal with the beautiful. 
the beautiful Neil's face. Like, li listen, that's like Hulk Hogan. I feel like you're embodying your inner Hulk Hogan right now. Why? Because I got face. five strands of hair left? Is that what you're telling me? Look I think it's the goatee. I mean, it's the whole... You it is the it. whole package. It's the whole package. It's That's all there is the to it. The whole package. All right, all right. Yes. All right. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, I'll no. take it. I'll take it. So have you seen okay, any... So I mean, my first trip to Mexico, I think I was, uh, I don't know, 18, maybe maybe 19 years old. But You were old enough uh, to drink then? I was old enough to drink. My stepbrother was old enough to drink. And uh, we may or may not have had a really good time uh, on that trip. Uh, my dad and stepmom had a great time on that trip. Uh, there may have been some shenanigans at play because uh, you're in Mexico. And why wouldn't there be some shenanigans at play? But surely you're not getting in trouble this week. No. Oh, no. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to relocate. You getting kicked out? Getting, no, way too hot. Oh, we get a full we get a full view. We get a full view of this outfit while we're on the move. Look at this, folks. Camo. On the move. I'm just I'm just going here in the shade. I apologize. But you, you know how these Apple you know how these Apple products shut down in the shade. Or in the sun, I'm sorry. Yeah, they literally will give you that like warning symbol, like too yes. hot. Yeah. Too hot right, for right. school. All right, we're good. We're in the shade, so we're good. I'm sorry. Man. Yeah. It's like you've got your own virtual background. Now it's just, I mean, you moved perfectly. So there's just like a third of a palm tree, yeah. blue sky on the other side. Uh, yeah. I mean. We're good. We're good. I is, this an, I is this a nudist yeah. resort? Could you walk around naked? Well, some of these chicks need to put some more clothes on. But you know what? Like, uh, I I toned it down today. And every, you know, and I brought I brought some really swank ass shit let's say but you know i don't know seeing some of these people walking around with, with what they're on you're you'll never see these people again fucking go for it go right for it. just go what's in the uh you got vodka lemonades in there you tell me you're drinking something different in mexico <laughs> uh no well um so they have tito's at the bar but none of the bars open up till 11 o'clock here at the resort so we took a trip on the bus public bus downtown went to the grocery store i bought a couple bottles of absolute so that's absolute and fresca or whatever so well, it's pretty sounds good a very refreshing it's, it's drink real, oh and, and there was mimosas this morning so it's not like i'm I, i'm definitely getting my fill of alcohols all right all right so uh, okay, so, so go ahead. to go back and i don't know if i mentioned this last week but since you mentioned hulk hogan uh fucking razor ramon passed away a couple weeks ago what? Scott Hall, Razor Ramon passed away, which is sad. Sad. Yeah, part of, I mean, part of the I don't know how to do the fucking N NWO, but yeah, it was part of the fucking NWO. So, yeah. Razor Ramon, let's check Razor, this guy out. Razor Ramon and Neil can't uh, see it any. Neil can't see it anyway, so well, he doesn't I know if I'm put, putting if the right I picture squint, up or not. If I squint, I'm fucking sweat my sweat like a fucking foreign church. <laughs> Uh, and you know who passed away also? Who? The fucking drummer from the Foo Fighters. That's right. He did die just like yeah. this yesterday or so. Yeah. Last day so, or so. So we're talking about that this morning at the pool. And you have to be a pretty, pretty incredible drummer to play for fucking Dave Grohl. Well, of course you do. Because he was he's like the fucking outstanding drummer. There he is. Razor Ramon. Let me tell you something. I should have a toothpick behind my ear, but I don't. They don't have to toothpick. Man, he was in the heyday of wrestling. Look at that guy. <laughs> I can, know. You're embodying this guy too. You got uh, you got a little bit of Razor Ramon going on too. <laughs> you are you are an He's '80s wrestler at home. heart. You got, yeah. aren't you? Fuck yeah. Gone no, too just soon. Saw, just saw that Foo Fighters. Uh, the drummer and Dave Grohl is a hell of a drummer. Did you see him on uh doing the drum off with like Jimmy Kimmel and stuff? Oh it's, yeah. It's, oh oh yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He's one hell of a drummer. One hell of, of a musician. Just incredible talent. Yeah. And an and, all around good dude. It seems like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And to have. So you have to have a pretty good resume to try out for the Foo Fighters because you are you are literally playing drums for 
a legend fucking drummer. Right. So, right. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And what I, so I saw a video where like, he was like given a drum challenge to like a eight year old little girl and she like back and forth on the internet. That was so cool. Yeah. And the, the yeah. fact that he would take time and like inspire her to keep yeah. going was yeah. phenomenal. There's, there's all kinds of YouTube videos on that and she jams out. Right. She jams out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. much fun. So cool. So cool. So, so, okay. Funny story about drummers is, uh, there's a family here and this girl, she's 17 years old. Her name's Violet. She's got Instagram pages and all this stuff. She's a drummer. So they were set up the stage here yesterday and set up a drums. And there's this girl with pink hair and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, I think that's girl that was here last year. And I'm like, no, there's no way they're here at the fucking same time. So 10 minutes later, her mom walks up and says, hey, weren't you guys here last year? I'm like, yeah. I was like, is that your daughter getting ready to play the drums? She's like, yeah, she wanted to play the drums again. So the hotel set up a whole fucking stage with a fucking band so she could jam on on the drums. What? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Dude, she and is she was phenomenal. good. Yeah. I wish I had her like her Instagram page, but... Maybe it's like Violet the drummer. So yeah, well, she, yeah, I'm trying jammed out. Uh, uh, so I, I just Google search drummer girl Violet uh, to uh-huh. see see what comes up. No, I, yeah. Uh, Nia female drummers uh, Nia Loveless. That's her name. That wouldn't be Violet. I don't know. She's of a group called Hey Violet. But anyway, yeah. we won't we won't waste too much time. But that is awesome. And so you've yeah. got a little community going. I mean, because yeah, you go back to the same you go back to the same resort year after year, right? Uh, yeah, we try. Yeah, whether uh, it's here in Cancun is, or Cabo or Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, because this is part of that deal you bought, right? Yes, a few years yes. back. Yeah. yeah, and so you got you got your choice of places you can hop in and out of yes. for a couple of weeks a year, right? Uh, and, and go back and live the Mexican life for a bit. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yep. yeah. No, thoroughly jealous. We're, it's honestly been probably. 10 years since I was in Mexico. Yeah, but I mean, you got a whole bunch of shit going on. You know, fuck, yeah. you've been traveling like crazy. Got to start living life a little bit, though. You've been you've been uh, moving like crazy. I'm not going <laughs> to, when I die, when I die, I will not be saying, I wish I would have worked more, you know? That's oh, no, issue. yeah, yeah. So here's a, uh, uh, here's a drink that you could try for the day. Uh, this okay. comes from a friend of mine who is a retired Denver police officer. His name's Devin. Uh, he now lives down in Texas, and so he's used to drinking some hot days, hot, humid days. And he says that uh, this is a good drink to drink all day long. He calls it uh, mud water. It's uh, tequila, uh, fresh squeezed fruit juice, and some carbonated mineral water to top it off. It sounds like a drink for Gretchen. Okay, so how so fresh squeezed fruit juice? So, like yesterday, he did like, grapefruit like, juice, but sometimes oh, it's oh so a, a fresh squeezed juice. Yeah. So, that's all. So, that's literally a, a, a paloma. A paloma? A paloma is tequila or vodka. You can get whatever. Uh, grapefruit juice and a squirt of lime. And mm. I never heard of it before until a couple of years ago when we were in Mexico, but yeah, it's a thing, paloma. And then you just, and then his recipe, just a little bit of mineral water on top. So you can drink it slow throughout the day, all day. You get your water, you get your booze. He's like, it's the perfect marathon drink. Right. So I think in one of the first couple episodes, we talked about the Carl Boots. Yes. Okay. So my there's favorite, one of my favorite drink. drinks. So there's another drink out there. It's called the Neil Spritzer. Yes. So the Neil Spritzer is Tito's lemonade with a splash of seven up. That's the Neil Spritzer. <clears throat> Don't let nobody tell you any different. You ask for a Neil Spritzer, they'll know what they're talking about. Dude, I have ne- I, ever since you came here, I've been having Neil Spritzers, and they oh, are good. Oh, yeah, yep, exactly, the Neil they're Spritzers. They're good, so. they're good. And in fact, I've got the drink today. We're having friends over today because it's going to be uh, 70, uh, 70, 75 here in Denver area, which, nice. as you know from being out here, that is going to feel about 90 degrees. Yes, uh, good so for you guys. we're ha- having friends over. Uh, for an afternoon cocktail party. So uh, I have a drink. I have the Neil Spritzer lined up as one of our cocktails of the day. Right on, brother. Right on. Yes, sir. I wouldn't let him go with come over here without doing that. You kidding? Yeah. Fuck, you got to, man. You got to. You got to. So, 
And uh, I want to say, again, a shout out to my buddy Cookster for joining Dude. us last week. Dude, so, that was a lot, that was a great show. A lot of good memories. And, yeah, that was really he's good. A, we got to do more of those. We got to do more he's of those. A, yeah, he's a good man. And to be able to talk about your dad open and freely like that, I mean, that was a, that was a powerful show. I thought it was. So, it was it yeah, was if you awesome. haven't haven't listened to last week's show, definitely go back uh, to listen to episode twenty two because that was a that was a good one. It was. Good guy. Uh, so, did did he reach back out this week? I mean, did it because I know you guys talk, but that's what's cool about this show is it kind of helps build that community up a little bit uh, to start friendships back up that haven't been there, things like that. Cause then you sit and talk with somebody for a half hour openly for the whole world to hear. Uh, it's, it's, it can be a powerful minute. It does. And just the fact that all the guys we were talking about that are no longer with us, because life's too short. I mean, you got to keep up the friendships. I mean, you gotta, you gotta make the time to see these people or right. you got to make the time to talk to these people because they impact your life and you, yeah you just gotta stay in contact with them and i have i have i've lost contact with a lot of people but there there's a real close group that i've reconnected with and i yeah i i stay in contact you have to yeah no absolutely and we are building uh great friends here in colorado now and it, it, it's interesting the twists and turns that life takes yeah. it is but you know what you take it one day at a time and guess what you will come out on top of the world and that's right like this guy always used to say, leave it better than you found it. <laughs> and life live, will treat you good. If you live every day like that, it can't go too bad, right? Right, exactly. It cannot right. go too bad. No, man. Tell me more about Mexico. How was your uh, flight down? I mean, because there, oh, there's a lot, oh. there's a handful of our audience that I would imagine have never made that trip. So you make it oh. often. So tell us about yeah. it. Okay, so it's generally an easy trip. So uh, we get in a flight to Des Moines. Get everybody loaded up on the plane, back out of the gate, taxi our way to like the actual takeoff runway. We sit there, you hear the in, in, engines running, and then all of a sudden, you hear the auxiliary power unit turn on, and the main engines turn off. And I was like, "Well, fuck, that ain't no that's good." Not, that's no good. And then there's like no communication from the pilots at all, saying usually when you hey hey we're backing up the gate. This is Captain Kirk from the USS Enterprise. Uh, we have a delightful flight from here to Denver, Fort Worth. We're going to be traveling at 23,000 feet. We're going to avoid all the storms, and we were going to get you to the gate at approximately hour, 23 minutes from now. No. Right. We're fucking Nothing. sitting, sitting, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, uh, the fucking podunk pilot gets down. Well, y'all, guess what? We're on a ground delay to Dallas. They had a bad storm last night, and everyone's grounded. Probably be about an hour. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? At the end of the so runway. We fucking sat at the fucking takeoff runway waiting to get to fucking Dallas. So we take off. Which Pilot amazes fight. me. They didn't know that literally 10 minutes before when you're in the fucking gate and let you just yeah. sit inside the airport. Yeah. yeah. Well, folks, we're going to get a hold of dispatch and we're going to see how long it's going to take. It took about 45 minutes and we took off. Our connecting flight was 1035. So it was close to begin with, but if you're delayed five, ten minutes, you land, you fucking run, you make the fucking flight. So we fucking land at about 25 after, you get to the gate, and we fucking sprint to the next fucking gate. We get to the next gate at fucking 1035 to read the board saying the doors close. Nah. Uh... And the fucking plane was still in the gate because it was fucking delayed. And they knew oh, they had man. other people getting get on the flight but luckily we got automatically rebooked when a couple uh gates down and got on the next flight all right so, we're so it worked out in the end four, 40 minutes later than when we were supposed to get here but yeah bro you know we proved through customs here in mexico yeah listen there that was uh when i remember the, it, and it's obviously changed but i remember the customs down there being a joke i mean standing in line at the, at the cancun airport for like worse. four hours for like hours waiting to get through but no no problem no. uh because you could do a lot of the stuff on the line so you get oh. that shit done you go through fucking customs they ask you are you bringing any drugs or cigarettes no okay and you just that's it <laughs> so they stamp no really they stamp your passport it, it's a pretty quick process so 
But so it's, can you lie? I mean, before, I mean, I mean, it's no different than going through an American airport. Oh fuck! I got four flights coming in. Right. You know, all at the same time. People, and I got two customs agents to check right. in all these people. Well, come on. What the fuck do you think? Get the people out there, get them through, and then be on your day. Yeah. So, yeah. It was actually pretty smooth. Pretty smooth process. Good. Good. And coming back is going to be easy too. Yeah. Because yeah. all the yeah, is sure. all the COVID stuff done, or do you guys got to get no. those tests? And... No. Uh, we'll get our test the day before, but it's that rapid one. So they swab your nose. You wait. 20 minutes, you get your results, and then you're on your way. And if you not, get uh, not, not test bad. positive, you just uh, stay in Mexico for a few more days. Yeah, a few more days. But then you pay 90 bucks, and you get a negative test, and you can go home. <laughs> you know, it's all about the American dollar. There's a, co- there's a cost of everything it's, down there. It's called fuck capitalism, right? <laughs> more so down there, right? Yeah. More so down there. Yeah. I always loved uh, the going to the hotel like store and seeing all the drugs that like literally like the pharmaceuticals that cost hundreds of dollars here for like three bucks. Yeah. There. Yeah. And, and over the counter, a, over the counter, you don't need a prescription for none of it. No, no. So there you go, folks. If the pharmaceutical industry is fucked up, let's, uh, yeah. and, we lost and, that sponsor, but it's a joke. It's a joke too. And it's funny. You can, it's so easy to spot a pharmacy. Just look for the big, fucking 20 foot wavy air sign that says viagra that means you're at the fucking pharmacy <laughs> they know their demographic they know their demographic in other words the weather there she is special guest special uh, you, uh, guys, no, you guys are missing out i no, wanted not i wanted, yes. no we're not i wanted, Olivia I wanted and Eric I, missing out oh, oh they're yeah, missing out oh, yes. oh i think we're, we're missing out no we are we are missing out i've got to uh uh take a little bit of vacation time uh, yeah. We can get to Mexico, get to somewhere. Yes. Even even like Texas. I don't know. It's like Galveston. It's I don't no, know. Yeah. South anyway. Padre. Whatever. Just, so, get, so just like, find myself so like, a beach. Yeah. So like we'll come to Colorado on a vacation, but that's really not like not a vacation for you guys since you live there. It's not. Uh, we've talked about this. That like, listen, I've got. I know that. So for example, I know that BJ uh, has been to the mountains snowboarding more. Since I've moved to Colorado, than I have. Do you know how to? He snowboard? goes every year. Do you know I don't how to know how to snow. No, but I'd go up to the mountains and ski or something. But you know how to this ski? is the point. This is the point. When you live someplace, you just get so stuck in the routine of work, laundry, take you know, routine of life that you don't make that commitment to hey. say, "Hey, I'm going to get up there and do it." GTL so. baby, GTL, Jim Tan laundry. <laughs> ski Jersey snowboard. Shore. Ski snowboard. GTL. Yeah. GTL. Speaking of Jim Tan laundry, uh, let's look at these while you're in the beach. Uh, I, I, I wanted to pull up a couple of uh, share screen. Let's see here. Uh, we'll start with the originals. The original what? Oh, not these Photoshop ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to throw a shout out to JK. These are so awesome. No, these aren't Photoshop. These are the actual originals. This is the original oh, Baywatch crew. Oh, I thought you were going to show the Photoshop ones. I don't have those. Not in my, not in my, uh, not at my disposal. Not in your repertoire. So, I, not, I got them on. Not, I got them on me, but we're not. I'm not going to sit here and fuck around for 20 minutes. Nope. for How to put them on the line? Nope, nope, nope. So, have you seen the Baywatch folks down there? No, I, I so know they're first, San Diego. So, 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 first of all, um, I don't, I don't. Well, I fat shame people because I'm fat. So if it's coming from a fatty, who cares? Some of these chicks down here should not be wearing anything like this. I'm just going to say. <laughs> Happy that you are because no one will ever see you again. But, yeah. yeah. So what's the uh, – what's the what about the guys? Uh, have you seen the guys walk around where that like the? Because uh, I remember, too, they, there were some men wearing the bikini bottoms, quite frankly – they were so tight that they would get lost in like the rolls of like their belly and their hips. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're here. They're here. They're just gone. So all of a sudden you're like, how is that connected to that? That makes you feel good about yourself that you can fucking wear whatever you want. You drinking there, any vodka like, with you drinking vodka with the Russians? Um, well, there's no Russians here because I don't think they're allowed anywhere. There's no Canadians well, here because I think the Canadian border is still shut down because of COVID. But there's a lot of people here from the UK. Really? 
There's actually one of them that is a spitting he, he, identical to fucking Jim Carrey's character in Dumb and Dumber. No shit. That's a no rough shit. haircut. That's a rough and haircut. It, and and we showed him a picture yesterday down at the bar. His fucking friends laughed their ass off saying, we told you you look like Jim Carrey. Yeah, fucking dead ringer. <laughs> Hilarious. Dude, uh, that's a how how does somebody leave the house with that haircut? That's what I want. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking dead that's... ringer, man. Dead ringer. So like every time he walks by, it's like you just think of like fucking dumb and dumber. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, where's your fucking psychic at? You know, I was just waiting for him to show up. It would be total hilarious if he showed up at the pool with a shirt that said, I'm with stupid. Oh, man. <laughs> like, but seriously, um, oh, I just don't great. <laughs> I mean People leave the house in all kinds of ways. And, and I, I mean, I know. I mean, you leave the house be like, I'm looking, I'm going to look fly wearing this today. I mean, you didn't look in the mirror, but it takes a conscious hey, choice. It takes a conscious choice for a white guy yeah. to leave the oh, house with a haircut yeah. like that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I mean, fucking dead ringer, man. It's like I wanted to ask him for his autograph. That's how, that's how I kind of do it. Oh, man. We actually put a meme up uh, on our uh, on our Facebook page to start with uh, from this is how uh, it was like saying how people think firefighter shower and how a shift actually showers yes, is the exactly. hot tub spa scene from this movie. Uh, right. <laughs> which if you're if you're a younger generation firefighter and you don't even know what Dumb and Dumber is, because let's be honest, there's firefighters that have never heard of this movie at this point. Yep. Uh, you should go watch it. In fact, yeah. the next time you're at the firehouse, I know you got time to watch the movie. Pull up Dumb and Dumber and watch it. Yep. Hilarious. You won't be disappointed. It's like the original uh, Step Brothers. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, it's yeah, like the, yeah. it's like okay, the OG yeah. of that of that kind of movie. The, yeah, so, the OG Step Brothers. That's what I'm going with. Awesome. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, man. So we got our friends coming over. We're doing the, the uh, we're doing like the suburb thing. I mean, Lowe's and Costco after this. You're doing the what? The suburb thing. Lowe's and Costco. Oh, okay. We got we gotta go get some patio furniture for this party we're having. And so we gotta get so you're not even prepared some yet. booze. No, I have to put furniture. I literally have to put furniture together before the party starts. Okay. And what time's the party? <laughs> Three o'clock. If you're in the okay. Denver area, right. come on over. Are you gonna give them like little uh, beware when you sit in the chair? Yeah. Sit, sit, sit at your own risk. Put together by a non-handy guy. By a non-handy guy. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you're you're plenty handy. You're plenty handy. You remember that? Oh no! Oh yeah, that was a part of you that made that potato uh, flashlight. <laughs> you weren't part of that. <laughs> I was part of that. Well, I was I was part no. of it in a roundabout way because I was the one that yeah. had to write the letter to the chief. Yeah. Uh, but th- I actually still have that picture floating around somewhere. <laughs> uh, actually, sure we'll have did. to put we'll have to put that one up. Uh, yeah. Dear okay. chief, no one was more surprised than I when the uh, box light didn't make it being run over by the fire truck. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. and then my guys took it upon themselves to uh, to repair replace. the box light. Oh, no, we replaced that box light. Yeah, we re- replaced it with a uh, potato powered flashlight. Yeah. Uh, and I'm happy to say that the ones involved in that are now both uh, captains on the fire department. So we only promote the best in the fire right. service. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only the ingenious ones. The G- there you go. That's it. The the ingenious, the creative folk, the creative right. folk. So, exactly. so yeah, no, it's go. Oh, I sorry, Jim Carrey's back. Go away, Jim. <laughs> we don't need you. Go away, Jim. Awesome. Uh, oh, what's your take on just before we go? Because uh, we talked about the original Baywatch. We got uh, what's your take on the new Baywatch? So, is the new Baywatch like the new Karate Kid or the new Annie with colored people, or is it still no. white people? No, because you just... can't. I, obviously, you can't remake nothing with white people. You can. Dude, it's got really. Is that the rock? Yes, yeah, so you saw. It. We watched this at the firehouse. Actually, we got Man, the rock. Come on, no, that ain't right. You don't like the rock is in the Baywatch? No, 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 nothing against the rock, but come on. Have you seen the rock's so, dad? So, you, so, so you're telling me the rock is on the same level as David Hasselhoff? Is that what you're telling he me? He is the new. He is the new David Hasselhoff. No, he's not. I will never yes, say he is. He is. Never. Yes. Rock's well, a fucking wrestler. Then it's Zach Efron. Then it's Zach Efron. Nope. I mean, can't do it. Can't do it. 
Austin. Sorry. Um, speaking of wrestling, did you know that The Rock's dad was a wrestler? Yeah. 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 So, so we're not a fan of yeah, the new he, Baywatch. He, he was the original Brahma Bull. Yes. Rock's dad. Yeah. Yep. So the jury's yeah, he out. The original, he was the original Rocky Johnson. So we don't like the new Baywatch, though. Oh, Neil I haven't. Says, Neil, it, says, I am, Neil says. I am, I am Neil says the Rock. Not. The Rock is not the Hoff. No, definitely not. Definitely not. All right. Then so we'll take it, okay. Take so it down. okay. So talking about. Real quick before we go, the new Batman movie that's out. I was. You see it? First of all, you have to be the man. We talked about this. The best Batman was Michael Keaton. Okay. So now they got some kid that played on Twilight as the new Batman or some shit. What? Or whoever it is. I heard the movie is outstanding. Really? Yeah. So. We're going to have to go see it because I heard it's literally outstanding. It's a fucking three-hour movie, but it's supposed to be outstanding. Yeah. Dude, that's a commitment. Yeah. Let's see here. So that's... unmask the truth. Yeah. I heard it's a freaking phenomenal movie from right. several different people that I, wouldn't, in... that I wouldn't ask the time of day from. But they've see, said why, awesome. why you've been in Mexico? Oh, no, no, no. Back home. Back home. <laughs> Let's see here. The Twilight guy. I would not have guessed this well, Twilight kid to be uh, the one, the chosen one for Batman. But Yeah. I don't know how they figured that out, but it's supposed to be awesome. Only in theaters March 4th. So they've even seen it recently because uh, it just recently came out. Yes. Uh, Within the last but, month. But, man, we got uh, the Joker. We got Bane. We got Catwoman. I mean, Batman. Man, they pull out all the stops. They pull out every character in the Batman series for this movie. Yeah. All right. That's crazy. Well, three hours. All right. Next week's episode is a three-hour episode. We'll uh, be live streaming <laughs> yeah. from the movie theater. <laughs> we will. We will review uh, Batman next week. So, yeah. Literally second by second, so you can watch the whole three-hour movie take nine yeah. hours with and, us. And I'm sure this movie is filmed totally at night, and I fucking hate that because you can't see shit. My eyes are bad enough as it is. You can't be showing a movie in the fucking dark because, yeah, I'm lost. And then you, and you definitely can't subtitles up there, and you definitely can't watch it on an Apple product out in the sun. Oh yeah, because I can't see just, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm going a by black the screen for a black screen for like, three hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're not no. the friendliest screens in the sun. So. No, hey Apple, with your like one trillion dollars, solve the glare problem on your products. Yes, yes, because people do solve. use this stuff outside. They do. So solve the glare prob- problem on your products. And guess what? I bet you probably have $3 trillion in the bank. Yes. So. yes exactly. Well, man, exactly. I don't want to take any more of your sweet vacation time because quite honestly, you're too sexy. And this is uh, getting hot, too hot for TV. Right on. Uh, so I think we're going to have probably have to do the show Sunday next week. Back on the duties, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm on fucking Saturday again at the firehouse. Prote- protecting the community. So, so it'll either be Deal. Friday night or Sunday. You tell Deal. me. And, Deal. And, 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 we'll figure, and we'll figure that out, okay? All right, you have so a good I, last few days of your vacation. Yeah, so, your, yeah, so and we got to get a fucking soundboard. They do a soundboard here. Or actually, maybe it's a little midget guy doing it. Does a great soundboard. Great soundboard. <laughs> Gretchen said right. so listen Neil uh, Olivia says it looks like a fake background I know we ca- talked about that earlier Gretchen says that there's been no hot chicks there like I'm no, so it's, disappointed it's really not a fake background oh see I can't zoom in uh, maybe you don't want to see that anyways no it's man. it's all legit man I know like just the, the way you had that just the way you got that camera set up perfectly, though, with the clouds, the uh, the palm tree oh, on yeah. one third. I mean, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It just worked gonna... out. I, I, I'd still be over. I'd still be next door, but oh, it's uh, it was too hot. My computer was getting way too hot. So there we go. All right, so that, first... that's yeah, I, go. we're we're gonna end the show with just Neil and all of his glory because everybody wants to see that fake background. There he is, folks. Oh, and and. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to see that either. So, all right. So, uh, Eric, do I text you for your go home music or what? You got it, buddy. Or no. Okay. Hang on. Yes, sir. Maybe.
And this is cool about technology. No uh, change of SIM card needed. You just text from Mexico. Is your phone broken? Did you break your phone while you're down there? Uh, no, I broke it uh, a while ago. I had like an episode you had. Yeah. And now my fair. my key my keypad really doesn't work, and I am not buying a new one. So. That's fair. I hear you. All right. Well, Eric, it was fun. I love you, brother. Love you, Neil. Go drink some drinks on me. All right. All right. Bye. Bye now.